Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sunny from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the exciting projects with the ESP32 microcontroller. In today's video, we will be diving into the fascinating world of audio sensing and interfacing the MAX9814 module or let's say the microphone module with ESP32. So let's get started. The MAX9814 is a high quality low noise microphone module that allows us to capture audio signal with great precision. It's perfect for applications such as voice recognition, sound detection and noise monitoring. To interface the MAX9814 with ESP32, we will be using the I2S Inter IC Sound Protocol. This allows us to transmit digital audio data between the MAX9814 and the ESP32 in a fast and efficient manner. Alright guys, so first of all, before uh, like uh, doing the programming stuff, let's understand like how do we make the connections of MAX9814 with ESP32. So for that, you can see on your screen, you have an image in which we have made the connections. So basically you have to make the connections in such a way that you will connect your VCC to 3.3 volt ground to ground and uh, in our case we are using pin number D35 of your ESP32 so that we will receive the output from that and that we will see further like uh, how we are getting the data from that right. So that's what we will see. Now once we have made the connections now the next thing is that we have to write the code for that. So as you can see on my screen that I have this new sketch open in Arduino IDE. Now let me write up the code so that we can see like how it's gonna work right. So let me write up the code quickly. Alright everyone so you can see the code is here. So basically here what I have done is I have simply set up or I have simply set the mode of your pin number D35 as the input pin because I want to read the data from that and accordingly I have started the serial no monitor so that uh, uh, we can do the serial communication at the port number 115200 uh, so right so we'll use that baud rate for the communication so that's why I have initialized that. Now in the loop side what we are doing is we are actually going to read the data continuously and currently I'm not putting up any time so that I can see that but uh, I think we should put up a time so that we can at least uh, notice like uh, the data for that right. I'm putting up a 100 milliseconds delay not more than that right because it, it's a voice so we have to like uh, read the voice immediately or you can say continuously also right. So that's what we have done. So over here we have done this. Now what next we can do is we can simply upload the code because that's it for now. So just simply click on upload and just upload the code in your ESP32 right. So now you can see when I'm uploading the code in tools I have the board and port selected already. So that's the reason I am directly uploading it without selecting anything right. So you can see it's there and it's also uploaded right. So it's done uploading right. Now once it is done, now simply open up the serial monitor. So you can see you are able to see the values. Now you can see like when I am speaking something, the value of uh, the voice uh, or let's say the ADC value is getting reduced. And in fact it is going closer to zero, right. As you can see like over here we have the data as zero as well, right. Zero is also coming. So just because uh, the voice is getting uh, like read in this way, right. So this is how we are getting it. Now to analyze it in a better way, so let me do one thing, let me open the serial plotter so that we can analyze it properly. So I am opening it now. So now you can see I have the voice in such a way that it's like kind of a wave uh, that is being generated. And uh, right now the voice is also or let's say the waveform is not that good just because we have a put a delay in between, right. So we don't have to put the delay over there, right. So let me do one thing, let me remove that and let me uh, re-show you, right. So it's done uploading. Now let me open up the serial plotter again. So you can see when I'm not speaking anything it's getting steady like this and when I'm speaking something you can see the waveform is getting like a higher pitch right. So in this way like we have the data properly. So when I'm not speaking 
uh, values is very low but when i'm speaking with the value is getting higher so here the process you can say it's almost the reverse right just because it's a sound wave so we are able to read it this way right so this is the way like how you can read the data or how you can uh, like read the voice coming from uh, your voice or let's say coming from you to the max uh, 9814 and you can display it in Arduino ID or through your coding stuff so you can read that. So that's all from my side for today. I hope you have understood this. So that's all. And if you guys have liked this video, do click on the like button. And if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do click on the subscribe button so that you not miss any videos from our channel. Also, you can share this video with everyone so that they can also get the benefit from this. So that's all from my side. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and happy learning.